<clears throat> this is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 25. And that shall be signs in the sun, and in the moon, and in the stars, and upon the earth the stress of nations for perplexity, and the seas and the uh, waves and war. I mean, brave, brave uh, war. Uh, Shout out first and foremost, like the Lord praises and the Lord and to to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, O Karkadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, the Christian's word, truth and most sincere. And shout out to the Oculus, Catholic, the four points of the globe, the Christian word, truth and most sincere. And I say uh, shout out to Rocky out there on this uh, Shabbat. It's uh, August 27th, 2022, at uh, 441 p.m. Called Lion Bashim uh, on this uh, Saturday afternoon on the Cell Memorial Blowing of the Trumpets 2022. And this is a news article from right here from RT.com. It says uh, 12 dead dozens injured as a fighting erupts in Libya. It says intense fighting between rival Smith groups have left at least 12 dead and 90 injured, official says. And it says the intense fighting, because I remember. Uh, I think they had like a little, some type of peace treaty or something like that. They had broken. It. And it's the same thing over there in, uh, I believe, Sudan or Egypt, I believe. It says, um, but continue on what we're reading. It says, uh, intense fighting broke out between the Lebanon and capital of Turpah on Saturday night. And it says, the city has since been engulfed by violence, according to the witness city by uh, international media. The violence has claimed about 12 lives, I bet. Yeah, about less 12 lives. And a truckload based Libyan health minister says, calling a preliminary uh, figures. It is unclear whether those were uh, combatants or civilians. It says the uh, fighting has also left at least 87 people injured. And a ministry uh, added photos and videos that have surfaced uh, social media. Uh, shows palms of black smoke billowing over the city as armed personnel and military hardware move through the streets. So yeah, you know, I want to go into too much be deeply in this uh, video because <clears throat> I only got like three seconds of my uh, phone. I mean, three percent to lock it. So yeah, that goes to show you what the disgrace of nations, uh, nations rising up against nations, as we see that as well too. And this is the book of. Uh, Matthews 24 and 6 as the usual scripture that I was always bringing out. And this is the book of uh, this is the book of Matthew chapter 24 verse 6. And it reads uh, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars and she that ye be not troubled for all see that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass but the end is not yet. Right, because we're seeing these uh, things taking forward, even though we see the continual uh, commotions of wars, uh, wars and rumors of wars, nations rising up against nations. 444 call, like y'all about Shamel Shah. Yeah, so we see these uh, things are increasing on an every day to day basis, even though we sort of used to and accustomed of seeing these things taking place on the planet Earth. But we continue to see these things escalating and increasing now more than ever in these latter days. And, um, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 7. And it reads, For nations shall rise against nations, and kingdom against kingdoms. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. Right, because we see the increase of these earthquakes in diverse places around the world. We see in uh, earthquakes, uh, I mean, we see in the, um, the pestilence, the plagues, you know. We see that taking place throughout the whole planet Earth. You know, we see these things increasing. And uh, Matthew's 24 and 8. And all these that are beginning of sorrows, right? We are in the beginning stages of our sorrows because it's going to be a lot more that's taking place on this planet Earth, you know, as we see in it taking forward, you know. Not just only here in modern day Babylon, uh, we see it around the world as well, too, as I brought up that news article over there in Libya. You know, they got intense fighting going on over, over there in that region. Because, you know, you see intense over there in the Middle East. You know, you see it tenses over here in Babylon and Great as well, too. And a lot of many different things are taking place on the planet Earth, you know. With the uproars of the people in the world. And that's why I'm about to bring that out as well, too. Uh, 
was the second largest in the group. This is the book of 2nd Hedges, chapter 9, verse 3. Therefore, um, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars in the people in the world, right, and that's what we're seeing. We're seeing the increase of the uproars in the people in the world. What these uh, uh, rumors of wars, these uh, proxy wars over there in the Middle East, the cross border rival between Lebanon and Syria, and uh, Israel and uh, Syria, Israel and uh, uh, right, Israel and Syria, or parts of Lebanon as well too. You got uh, factions and different organization groups going at it with each other. You know, you got Turkey stationed there, Russia stationed there, and then you got the uh, Turk, the Kurdish people and the Turkish people uh, going at it with each other in that region down there. So that, that goes to show you what the uh, uproars and the uprises of the people in the world. You know, we're seeing the commotions of wars, uh, perplexity of uh, the stress of nations, as I brought out in Luke 21 and 25 as well, too. And, um, matter of fact, since I'm so locked in, uh, matter of fact, since I mentioned that, let me go to uh, Luke 21 and 9. Uh, this is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 9. But when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified for these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by end by right, because we see these things. Uh, increasingly uh, on the planet Earth, and it's going to increase now more than ever. You know, with these commotions of wars, uh, proxy wars, uh, endless, countless of world wars going on between the nations, uh, nations rising up against nations, kingdom against kingdoms. Even though it might be times they might have some type of peace, and then it's going to come to uh, tense is going to continue to uh, escalate and ramp back up as well too. Just like the scripture says. Uh, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 3, I believe, for when they shall say peace and safety and self discretion come upon them. You know, so that goes to show these uh, things are in, in the cruise and uh, taking place on the planet Earth, you know. So, with that, I hope this uh, outside lesson was edifying. Oh, this Shabbat, uh, August the 27th, 2022, on the, um, the, the memorial of blowing of the trumpets. So this is the year of uh, Yahweh Shemal Shaz turning up the heat and the servant the prophets of Yahweh Yahweh Shaz is uh, sounding the alarm they blowing the trumpet. You know? So with that, I would say Shalom and the Bible.